a young Serbian's gun, his trigger the spark for World War One. But how did one shot prove so lethal as to kill over 70 million people? It's time for the history bomb of World War One. Let's set the scene. Late 19th century Germany was booming, but there were signs of a storm brewing. Her Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm II had plans to teach his rivals a lesson. Now Deutschland is high, but I'll take a higher. One third to syllables empire. Like Britain, I for rule sea and land. Watch out for this Vaterland. It's worth pointing out that the Kaiser was mentally unstable, but unfortunately for the rest of Europe, he was in charge. Germany's neighbors started to take notice. Hey Russia, have you heard this guy? I'm thinking of putting my army on standby. I know, Cousin Willy is giving me nausea, and now he signed an agreement with Austria. So tell him when we've got your back, we'll be here if the Kaiser attacks. It was against this backdrop that Gavrilo Princip, a young Serbian nationalist, shot dead Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the heir to the Austrian throne, setting off a terrible chain of events. Are you ready? Let's go! Austria and Germany attack into Serbia, who allies with Russia, didn't mention that earlier. Russia get ready to advance, and that brings in their pals, yup, France. Germany attack France as quick as they can, adopts an approach called the Schlieffen Plan. They go through Belgium, awful decision, as Belgium have friends, namely Great Britain, in come Italy. Now let's join the advance with the first British troops fighting in France. Oh, wow! Get down, boys! We must take cover, or be more machine gun fodder. Without delay, quick chaps, dig! By November 1914, 400 miles of barbed wire and mud stretched from the Alps to Belgium. Commonwealth soldiers arrived from Australia, Africa and India, but still more troops were needed. Men of Britain, there's much to do. Your time is now. Your country needs you. Sir, we've just had news from Gallipoli. Ah, uh, yes, against the Turk. A resounding victory. No, sir. 500,000 casualties and a telegram. Send help, please. Oh, dear. Back in the trenches, there was more to fear as chemical weapons began to appear. Gas, gas, an exit of fumbling. No mask. A damn cloth's better than nothing. Sir, I can't see the gas things and fire. Come here, soldier. Let's get you to a nurse. Behind the front line, volunteer nurses tended to the injured soldiers. Both at home and on the front line, women made tremendous contributions to the war effort. Hold still, deep breaths, I'll soon be through. It's barbaric what they've done to you. Oh, thank you, miss. You're a real pearl. God, these trenches, no place for a girl. Neither are they fit for a man, but we're here to help the best we can. And who do you think manufactured your gun? Us girls will see this war is won. 1916 saw terrible losses on the Western Front. The Germans advanced to Verdun and the British went forward to the Somme, but neither battle proved decisive. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, the Russians were achieving some successes. <laughs> Sir, news from the Russian army! Blimey, that pigeon's flown a long way. Let me guess, they've been pushed back. No, actually, they've had a good crack. General Brusilov makes good progress, his wide attacks put Fritz under stress, his advance no less than 60 miles. Super great news, I like his style. Oh, hang on, and now his attack's been stalled. German reserves have been called. Oh, blast! It would take new tactics and technology to break the deadlock on either front. In 1917, Germany made a fatal calculation by pursuing a ruinous naval strategy. This war has gone on long enough. It's time for Deutschland to get tough. The Allies need their post to stay alive. Can't seize off and they cannot survive. German U-boats attacked Allied shipping to cut off supply. Critically, they attacked American ships, and in response, the United States declared war on Germany. It would take another year, however, for American troops to actually arrive in Europe. In the meantime, a Russian revolutionary seized his moment. My Russian brothers, listen in. Let me introduce myself. Vladimir Lenin, I promise to take this country far. But first, we need to kick out the Tsar. Good, that was easy. Now everyone's equal. We'll have bread, land, and peace for the people. I think Mother Russia's had enough of this war. I'll meet with the Germans to settle this goal. The meeting took place in November 1917, and Russian land was divided by Germany into independent states, including the Ukraine. With Russia now out of the war, the Germans moved all efforts to the Western Front and planned a colossal effort in the spring of 1918. Ultimately, the offensive failed, and at this pivotal moment, the Americans finally arrived. Hey, what's up? No photographs, please. We got your memo and... Jeez, things have gotten out of hand. Good thing you called up Uncle Sam. The enemy had better reach for the skies or light it up like the 4th of Get July. Down, you idiot! By May 1918, 200,000 American troops were arriving per month, and after withstanding the German offensive, new technology and tactics proved decisive for the Allies. Right, chaps, this is it. We have orders to make the hit. Keep behind the tanks and use the Lewis gun. A creeping barrage will shatter the hut. Our planes will protect from the skies, then we'll hold the line until support arrives. Finally, the Allies got some traction, putting the Germans out of action. At 11am on the 11th of November, the guns fell silent upon German surrender.
All in all, a tragic loss. Europe secured, but at what cost? A generation lost. We are forever in debt. 100 years hence, lest we forget.